next one. Set and ready. They're off. Got away to a neat start. Liddell's Echo, first one to show. Jaguar Cat has some speed. Then Victory of Dubai in the blue sleeves and cap at the outside. Soweto Rose also pursuing a prominent position. Great Melody sits just off them. Likewise, Opera Swing. Jet Captain is midfield. Notorix is on the outside. Kingston Rock, black and white colours. Dammy just spat up the dummy, racing towards the back of the field. And State of Mind is nowhere at the corner turn. They race down towards the final 700 metres. And Liddell's Echo is the leader by half a length. Notorix had no option. But to commit went up to race in second so where to rose nicely placed at the rail third a length and a half back to victory of dubai kingston rock and jaguar cat they midfield great melody was further back jet captain they followed towards the outside by opera swing dammies towards the far side in the green and white and state of mind's got a lot to do at the 300 meters board and notorix has picked up the lead so where to rose pressing up the inside jaguar cat tries to get into the clear then comes danny but they go to the final 150 now notorix now being joined and leveling up as Soweto Rose. Soweto Rose picks up the lead. Notorix then comes up for a swing. Soweto Rose has won it. Notorix was second. Then came up for a swing. And fourth goes to State of Mind. This is for Soweto Rose towards the left hand side. Got a lovely run. Sat just in behind the pace. Notorix was forced to cover a lot of ground. Actually, credit to Teak Gould because from the draw, could have been a lot messier than getting in uh, straight onto the rail in the box seat. He did exactly that, despite lagging outwards over the closing stages. I think always had the measure of Notorix uh, staying on nicely towards the right-hand side, both Opera Swing and also State of Mind. That's a wrap from Fairview today. That's the end of September. October starts tomorrow. A lovely double header of racing from both Turfentine and Hollywood Betts Durban for feature races to look forward to. Till tomorrow at the Big T. Good night. Well, the final race this afternoon, Soweto Rose. He was all the rage. John Nell gave you the heads up when they didn't interview him in the week as well. He said, my winner on the day will be Soweto Rose in the last. And yeah, we are. It's the last race and Soweto Rose in the winner's box. And for me, a great pleasure to have T. Gould back. He's been off for quite some time and it's difficult to keep yourself motivated, but he's done just that first meeting back and back where he belongs in the winner's box. T. Welcome back. Great to have you in the winner's box. Yes, thanks. Uh, it's uh, great to uh, get back into it so quickly and uh, yeah, first meeting back a winner. Uh, yeah, all accolades uh, go to Jean. Uh, he picked out the perfect race for this horse and uh, yeah, he, he was quite difficult when he got here and he's just changed so much and he's been part, uh, quite pleasurable to actually work with and uh, yeah, uh, uh, well done to him. And also with the tracks and that, we couldn't get as much work in, but he kind of tries to do too much at work. And uh, I think that day of work that he missed actually, uh, actually planned out quite well. And uh, yeah, he won quite nicely today. All right, let's touch on you a little bit first. How's the ankle doing? Do you feel any pain after work? I know you've been riding work. Is it standing up? Uh, the first couple of days was the worst, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, almost back to full fitness. I've been at work and uh, yeah, it's just uh, racing fitness is a different type of fitness. And uh, yeah, I'm back racing now. And uh, yeah, I think I needed it a little bit, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll come on from this. <laughs> Tremendous. Well, as mentioned, what, nice to have you in the winner's box. Well done to yourself. Yes, uh, thanks to Jean and Hollywood as well uh, for sending him the horse. He's doing quite well here, this horse, and I'm sure it won't be the last of him. And thanks to my sponsors at uh, Fuelcom, uh, Krista and Mariska. Uh, I'm sure they're watching my first meeting back, and uh, well done to them. Thanks for the sponsorship. Thank you. You said it thanks. all. Thanks, Tig. Let's go to the man that gave us the confidence. <laughs> you come racing and then you, you look for confidence, and I've got it here verbatim. My winner on the day. That's what he said when he spoke to Nadine in the week. And Bob's your aunt, you're in the winner's box. Well done, John. Yeah, Neil, it's, uh, you know, I'm a terrible tipster. I try to be a decent trainer, but um, when they work like he did and uh, look the way he's looking at the moment, you know, you, you can't help but use a little bit of confidence. Um, him and Teague seem to get on pretty well. You know, he has settled down a little bit. I think he's maturing a little bit now. Not a very big horse, Neil. Um, but he's game. But hey. he's game. He tries, you know. And as long as you've got a horse that tries, you, you, you've got a chance. Exactly. You, know, and well, you ran second as well with no tricks. Well, don't you? Yeah, I thought he'd run well. I thought he could find the quartets. And, 
<laughs> I, did, I did say in my message, I don't think that Notarex can beat Soweto Rose, but he nearly made me swallow my words there for a little while. But uh, just very happy with the win. Well done to Hollywood. Thank you, Anthony. Well done. Congratulations. And also to, also to Wilgebos. Uh, Wilgebos, Shift and Maritz Fontaine, yes. Okay. Let's touch on Hollywood with yourself. How many runners do you have in your stable from them? Um, Neil, I've been very fortunate. They've sent me two. Um, and we've got another one that's on the way. Yeah, I was going to say, watch this space. I think a couple of more will be coming your way, John. You deserve it. You, you, we, Nate, Nadine and I were chatting early on as well, and Nadine's husband, Gary. Um, your, your attention to detail is there for everyone to see, and you can see it in the way your horses come to the course and the way they race as well. You're always, always hands-on, and uh, I think it's going to open a lot of doors for you. Well done. Thanks for the compliment, Neil, and grateful for the winner. Tremendous. There we go. That's John Nell. Ending up the day here today in the winner's box, and rightfully so, he did give us the heads up with regards to that. It's great presenting once again with my co-presenter, Nadine Rapson, doing the duty hours here today. Alistair Cohen was doing all the calls as well. Thanks to the technical staff, the technical crew, everybody involved, and uh, look forward to being here back here next week, Friday. Once again, from myself, Neil Pretorius, and all of us, have a good evening.